healthcare and dentistry sectors in India have grown to become one of the most promising and progressive sectors poised for rapid growth. The overall Indian healthcare market is worth around 100 billion US dollars and is expected to grow to 280 billion dollars by 2020. India's competitive advantage lies in its large pool of well-trained medical professionals. To recognize individuals and organizations who have contributed extensively to this growth, Merit Awards and Market Research organized the first edition of India's most prominent awards. I welcome you to this great grand uh, award ceremony and I want to uh, uh, begin this evening by quoting a quote by Henry Ford which says that coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress but working together is success and today we are very very pleased to be announcing a very very successful evening with Merit Awards and Market Research. And as we know, ladies and gentlemen, that it is one of the largest independent marketing research agency and they are specialized in strategic consultant assignment and business tactical research for very big as well as for small and medium corporations. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we research and nominate India's most prominent awards for healthcare dental, business, and education. And today, we are honored to have surrounded with very renowned and dignified doctors around the globe. Our services include brand management, brand recognition, brand promotion, market research, data analysis, public research management, digital marketing, and consulting services. We welcome amidst us Dr. Harshwardhan, Honorable Minister, Science and Technology. A big, big hand. I have enjoyed the privilege of being with the doctors of my profession many times, but to be with the top doctors of the whole country and that too after this uh, merit awards and market research, this is something uh, like a unique experience for me. You have really done the research uh, objectively and uh, searched for the best people in the country from all over from places like Chennai to Sultanpur in UP to Lucknow to Mumbai to uh, I would say means uh, Punjab uh, and then to cover virtually all specialties neurologists, neurosurgeons, GI surgeons, orthopedic surgeons. So your wide ranging search is something really extraordinary and I think you deserve the highest applaud from all of them for all this. <laughs> Apart from congratulating them, I have to say that uh, you are very, very lucky. Number one, you got into this medical profession which uh, I say is something like two in one. You uh, uh, serve your professional duties also, then you simultaneously get uh, the privilege of serving society, mankind, human beings, and you can alleviate the sufferings of uh, common man if you have the heart and soul to do that. And I have always said that uh, a successful doctor is not the one who has uh, too many patients, in his clinic or in his hospital, who has to generally employ floor beds in his hospital because there is too much of rush, who has too many cars or too many bungalows or too many hospitals. That for me is not the definition of success. I consider that doctor as most successful in my life whose presence in the society starts producing a movement in the vicinity of the place where he lives. He starts uh, ensuring that health starts becoming a social movement in that area. So that is, I think, the need of the hour. That, I think, ca we can do only if we have this somewhere in our mind at a subconscious level. 
then we will plan our time, then we will plan our strategy, then we will plan the delivery in our hospital, in our clinic, and in our house, and in the society, in such a manner that there is huge positive healer health energy all over in the society. Health for all we can always achieve, because in, if at all the health for all will ever be achieved, first country to be able to do it will be India, no one else. And India is the only country which can, which has, possesses that DNA because of its ancient medical wisdom. And India is the only country which can produce a model which can be replicated by the rest of the world. And all of you, I think, have a very, very uh, definite uh, responsibility. The first award, Best Surgical Gastroenterologist in South India went to Dr. Anand Kumar. The award for the top leading best sexologist in the world and Swast Bharat Ratan Award was given to Dr. Saransh Jain. Biomax Biotechnics Private Limited received the award for the best pharmaceutical company in India. The award for the best multi-speciality hospital in western Uttar Pradesh went to Global Rainbow Healthcare. The best IVF center in nation award went to Art Rainbow IVF. Dr. M. Madheshwaran was recognized as the best family doctor in Chennai. Dr. Sunita Tandulvarkar received the award for the best gynecologist in Maharashtra. Dr. P. Sarka Nair's Pranavam Ayurvedic Treatment Center was recognized as the best Ayurved hospital in Karnataka. Dr. Tejendra Kataria, MD, received the best oncologist in Delhi NCR award. The award for the best homeopathic clinic in India went to Star Homeopathy. The best cardiologist in Amritsar award went to Dr. Rohit Kapoor. Dr. Rakesh K. Jaswal received the Best Cardiologist in Punjab and Upper North India Award. Dr. Devlina Chakravarti received the Best Spine Surgeon in Gurugram Award. Dr. Satnam Singh Chhabra was honoured with the Best Neurosurgeon in Delhi Award. Amrita Homeopathy and Aesthetic Multi-Speciality Clinic received the Best Homeopathic in Bengaluru Award. The Best Female Physiotherapist in Tamil Nadu Award went to Dr. J. Kalpana. Dr. Jitesh Sharma was recognized with the Best Physiotherapist in North India Award. And Dr. Rajkumar Yadav with the Best Cardiovascular and Thoracic Surgeon in Jaipur Award. Dr. Aditya Batra was given the award for Best Cardiologist in Haryana. Dr. Narendranath Thanna, Chairman Asia Pacific Vascular Society, was honoured with the Outstanding Contributions to Cardiology and Vascular Sciences Award. Algicare Home Health Services Private Limited, Mr. Prasad Bhide was given the award for Best Home Health Service Provider for Mumbai Thane. Best Orthopedic Hospital in Karnataka award was given to Mathru Hospital for Orthopedics, Dr. Kishore Kumar M. Dr. Abhishek Pratap Singh was recognized as the Best Physiotherapist Doctor in Delhi. Dr. Vikas Gupta was recognized with the Best Hand and Upper Extremity Surgeon in India Award. Dr. Suresh Arora received the award for Best Orthopedic Surgeon of Faridabad. The award for the most promising plastic surgeon in Andhra Pradesh went to Dr. D.N.U. Annapurna. K.P. Saini received the award for the best eminent physiotherapist in Uttar Pradesh.
Amrita Homeopathy and Aesthetic Multi Speciality Clinic was honored with the best homeopathic clinic in Bengaluru. Dr. Nasir Mughis received the award for the best physiotherapist in Delhi. Karji the Care was honored with the best rehabilitation center in Gujarat. Dr. Avadesh Kumar Koshik was recognized with best general and laparoscopic surgeon in Uttar Pradesh. Dr. P. Kumar, Kumar Nursing Home, Aligarh, received the award for the best secondary care hospital in Uttar Pradesh. Dr. Rajiv Shivastav received the award for the best physician in Uttar Pradesh.